Hey you guys, welcome back to Kimball's Corner. Uh, today I am going to play with these because someone had asked me to. I, sh I posted a picture on Instagram and they asked what they were and I didn't know because I don't read Japanese, but on the back it says Shadow Black. Uh, it's Boku Undo. Uh, .co.jp. I will leave links in the description below. Um, basically, I believe these are watercolors mixed with ink, and that's what gives them that very dark appearance. And then this is from the same brand, right? I mean, it's the same box. They're called Aurora, and it is the same brand. I'll just leave the link below, but these are really cool, like, color shifting things, watercolors. I don't know. It's very cool. So I'm going to do a quick sketch using a ballpoint pen because I'm fancy. I mean, it's purple. Come on. And uh, I'm just going to slap down some colors on it. This is just like a super relaxed, chill, get it done kind of thing. And uh, hopefully it looks good. Hopefully, you yeah, know, fingers crossed. Make sure my pen actually works because it's new-ish. Let's do a profile. I haven't done a profile in a while. I'm using an Arteza watercolor sketchbook and it, I like it. It took me a while to get used to this paper because I usually use my Jane Davenport, uh, like mixed media journals. And I like that paper a lot. This paper absorbs a lot. Like if I try to use the mermaid markers or like um, water-based markers, it just gets like sucked right into the paper and I can't move it. I will show you an example. Like I put down the pink in her eyes and it just, it stained and I couldn't move them. So that was really annoying. I should activate these while I'm drawing. They don't need a lot, but you know. Just get them going. I'm not loving this profile, but that's okay. We're gonna keep it simple. Um, and by simple, I think I'm going to just do one of my favorite hairstyles where it just comes down. Eye in first. A lot of people when they draw profiles, I've noticed they do like the Egyptian thing where they draw the full eye, but I think that's because, because in Egyptian culture way back when, even probably till today, the eye was very important, so they want to see the full eye. Am I wrong? Probably. That's all right. Um, but I always do kind of like a rounded triangle because, you know, this is like the ball of the eye. It's the eyeball. And then your eyelid kind of goes like that and covers the front and the bottom. So it's kind of like that. That's kind of how I picture it. Of course, then I, you know, load on three pounds of eyelashes. Because I'm not all about realism in my artwork. And then, like, where I drew that little eyelid thing, I'm just gonna kinda darken it up. And, like, realistically, lashes wouldn't look like this. Like, they would just be kinda going forward. And, I don't know, it's kinda boring for me. Like, I see it in pictures, so why do it in my artwork? Probably because I should use references, but who does that? Um, I'm rambling. I was also asked to draw in real time, so I will cut back on the speeding up of the video. I mean, obviously I'm gonna cut out like drawing time because I'm not gonna make you guys watch paint dry. Even though I will be using a hairdryer because ain't nobody got time to just sit and let paint dry. I have no idea. Um, this paper, like I said, kind of blurs and absorbs paint really quickly, or water. So I'm kind of wondering how it's going to work with, uh, you know, the pen. A little shading for this. Let's get them started. A little shading under the nose. And these watercolors are dark. Like, 
as you can see, they're all, they all have black in the name. <laughs> so this is gonna turn out quite dark. I will leave her skin mostly white just cause I'm gonna use like the colors to shade, but then I don't know, I'm getting like a crow's, like a, the crow, the movie, the, like that vibe, like now we're just doing it. I don't really remember what the hell the crow looks like, but we're gonna add this because I can. Why not add a little makeup? All right, that's just crazy. And the hair, I'll probably just have the hair fade off into nothing. But for right here, I want it to just come down. Cause like I said, I want it simple. And I usually draw like the idea where the highlights are gonna go. Probably because uh, when I used to do digital artwork, it was a lot easier because I would just do this and then I'd color over it. So you wouldn't actually see these lines, but you know, it's a habit now. But it does help me visualize. I don't know what's gonna happen back there. Colors, this is good enough. Let's pretend like we know what we're doing. I know I had, ah. I just cleaned up my art space, so, you know, naturally I have no idea where I put anything. All right, got some water. <sighs> These sparkly bits, maybe I'll use them for splatters, maybe I'll use them for eye stuff, I don't know. I was asked to use this one, but I mean, this is too pretty not to use. Am I all right? All right. So I'm gonna bring in this little palette, courtesy of my friend Carrie. And, cause this doesn't have, I need to, or I want to mix some colors or at least lighten some colors. Cause like I said, they are very dark. idea. Pen is holding up nicely. All right, I'm going to mix in a touch of the purple, which just makes it really dark. You can see right here in her lips, like the color bled out a little bit, like if it's too much water, it tends to bleed, which kind of bugs me. It's like part of me likes it because it's like a little more interesting looking. I mean, this is just bleeding, like where I'm doing the wet into wet, like that's expected. But when I lay down that first blob of color, I didn't want it to go bleeding everywhere. I don't know why it's like clinging to my brush. I can't get a clean brush. And they don't like to lift, like they just sink into the paper and stay there. So she now stuck with that weird cheeky coloring that I did. I think I really just went too dark with adding that purple. Ah well, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I start painting on you? Now I'll bring in some other colors. 
Let's bring in some of this blue. And we'll bring it into the hair. I should probably dry this. Let me dry this real quick so it doesn't bleed all over her face. Also with this paper, it dries like the top of the surface of the paper will dry, but it's still kind of wet. Anyway, just adding a little shading to her eye. And back to the hair. Dipped it into the wrong color, so now we got a touch of that purpley red. <laughs> and that's fine. It's just hair. Hair can be any color. I'm gonna wet this up just to help my color spread a little. And it is just the straight blue, so. See how much it just stained the page. So if you don't have it really wet, it does just sink right in, which I'm not mad at. It's just something you have to know is gonna happen. And if it bothers you, then you gotta work around it. I'm gonna bring in some other colors. Let's bring in some of this yellowish black on the back side. And I'm gonna bring in some of the brown. I mean, it's just a really dark brown. It almost has like a Touch a purple look to it. Okay, do a little bit more of that. Uh, not that you can tell because it just looks so dark. All right, I think I'm done with the ink watercolors, uh, which are not those ones. Not those ones, maybe they're these ones, I don't know, doesn't matter. Put those aside. Put this over here. I'm gonna dry this real quick and then we'll work with the other ones. Actually, before I get into the super sparkly ones, I wanna just create like a little something happening here. I could just use up this paint, but I don't know. Yeah, why not? Oh, I hate how it just does not move after you lay it down. Which, I mean, it's something I can get used to. It's just for the past two years, I haven't worked on this paper before. Green into it. Maybe try not. Okay, wow. As I try not to color on her face, I color red on her face. That's because I am a professional. Add a lot more blue. This hard line is bugging me, which I guess I could actually work with it. Instead of trying to fight it. Let this dry, go over the whole thing with 
this mystic purpley color and tone it all down. All right, not gonna lie, I do wanna add just a touch more color to her lips. Just to brighten them up a little bit. And it kind of defeats the purpose of using the dark inks, but you know me, I like my color. I'm gonna add a little yellow to her eye. Make it a little more interesting. All right, now, hmm, I guess I should wet it. I'm gonna get this activated a little bit. Add some water to all of this. You just fade at the top. I'm trying to work a little fast just because I know it does not like to move once it sets on the page. And we'll just do a little more over the top here. And bring it into the hair a little, that doesn't matter. Now that I have that, I can put these away. Dry it again. All right, bringing these in. We're gonna start small. I'm gonna do just a bit of the gold. Oh my God, I sprayed them and they're already like dry. A little gold on her eye. And just cover the whole eye, why not? Right, and then I'm gonna do a bit of a silver in her hair. Just on the highlights, you know, she got some shiny hair. Clean off my brush. We're gonna grab some of the red. Sparkle up her lips. So now I'm gonna take this blue and I'm gonna swirl it in the background. And I'm gonna add a little of the purple. And I'm gonna do a little of the gold. A little more of this purple. I feel like the gold really showed up. And 
And this stuff reactivates a lot more than the watercolor does. All right, so I splashed down some of these. Let's put that aside. I, oh, I'm gonna dry it real quick. Probably good enough. I'm gonna come back in here and just darken up her pupil. Her eye in general, really. And then take my Sharpie paint pen. And clean up that disaster. It'll probably bleed through, but whatever. At least it'll lighten that big green squirt, that big green mark on her nose. I am tempted to bring the colored pencils in here and add a dash more color. Nothing extreme. I say as I pull out my super neon pink. I really like my neon pink. I'm gonna bring in a little yellow, just cause I have so much purple going on. Not really sure where I wanna put it. All right, I mean, that didn't liven up the picture a bit. And I think I'm gonna call her good. It was a fun, quick sketch just to show you guys these watercolors from, 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 I'm scared to turn over, there's water on the back. From Boku Undo, I guess that's the brand. Boku Undo. Sounds like a command, like in Photoshop. Boku Undo. Uh, anyway, I just wanted to show you guys what these looked like and how I work with them. I usually use them for sketchy stuff, unless I'm gonna do a really dark picture, which if you've been watching my channel, you know I don't really go dark. Uh, but I mean, can you see the, the shimmer? It's a very nice shimmer. Got a lot going on. Ooh, so sparkly. All right. Thank you all so much for joining me. I hope you had a good time with this video in real time. I know, right? You've spoken. I listened. Uh, yeah, and I, oh, I've got these that came in the mail. Got these that came in the mail. And I got another pack of sparkly paints from these guys as well. So look forward to those coming up in the future. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. And I will see you next time. Take care.